Hello folks, welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm very excited to announce that the OpenXR Toolkit has now been released. Links will be in the description below. This will replace your NIS Scaler and give you a whole host of options. Um, and we're sat on the ground here at Nice with the H145. And we're going to give it a go. This is by no means a tutorial, but this is my first impressions of using it. Now the first thing I love is that all the options are available in VR. So first of all, before we go into that, make sure that you uninstall your previous NIS scaler before installing this new version. Okay, and I'll leave links to the uh, website and all the instructions and explanation of how it works, including Mark from the Simhangers latest video explaining about resolutions in the headset and barrel distortion, all that kind of funky stuff. Right, anyway, with that being said, let's have a look at the menu system here. Okay, now I've got the default controls, so I'm using my keyboard. It's Control and F2. You can change that. And look at this. Look at this. And these are all my options at the moment. Notice that I've actually changed my NIS scalar settings. I've now settled on 90%, which gives me a resolution of 28702786. Make sure your Open XR settings are 100% and your render scale is 100%, by the way. That's very important. Uh, my sharpening, I'm going to change that, actually, because... I. I want it to, yeah, set it to 30%. That is, that works for me actually with my 3090 uh, running a 10900K. Also here, I'm just basically switching these options here to show you what they all do, including the wheel scale, which is very cool. You can change that. In fact, let's do that now. Let's have a look, see what that does. I'm not sure if that's in real time or not. Probably not actually, no. I think you have to change, uh, restart the VR session, which is fine. But I love the fact you've got wheel scale in Microsoft Flight Simulator. How amazing is that? Uh, field of view as well. That's something that is uh, interesting. Um, you can see here it changes everything to be very small or very large. That's in real time, which is really cool. I like that. Uh, prediction, dampening, font size. Uh, that's obviously the uh, the menu. Talking the menu, let's have a look at the FPS. At the moment, we're getting a measly 23 frames per second. The reason is... I'm using motion reprojection, so at the moment it's projecting at 22.5 frames per second, which I know doesn't sound very good, but that's just because I'm recording and all that kind of stuff and my settings are very high. Right, let's go for a quick flight and see how things go. I'll see you in the air. Okay, folks, so we're now airborne in the H145 helicopter, and uh, you can see there the frame rate, which I've left on on purpose, um, is showing a solid 23 frames per second. That's because I'm using motion reprojection. Without it, I'm getting about 30, 35. But what that means is, is that I'm getting fake frames dialed in and enjoying such a smooth performance. Now you don't have to have motion reprojection on. I know a lot of you don't like it. Also uh, note that the frame rate counter causes its own uh, performance hit at the moment. So it's probably not that useful at the moment, but I thought I'd show you it anyway. I've also taken my render scale down a little bit because as I'm recording, uh, I'm getting a couple of little stutters here and there, but usually I would be at 100%, just so you know. So we'll go back to this again. I love how you can mess around with this. That is, that is excellent. And by the way, as you can see there, we've got FSR as well as NIS scale. So what that means is, is that AMD users, hopefully you'll be able to utilize this as well. Now this is the really detailed overview. This is my CPU which is, uh, means nothing to me, to be honest, but I'm sure many of you guys will understand what all that means. But again, that's a very cool feature, something we have not had until now for VR users. I have to say as well, with 100% OpenXR, render scale, 90% NIS and 30% sharpening, the Reverb G2 looks absolutely stunning. And that's even compared to the Vario Aero. I have to say, like, this NIS scaler is a game changer for reverb owners. And if you haven't got the funds or you're not sure about buying an Aero, well, this really does give you that extra bit of sharpening. Just be careful, though, with the sharpening because it can induce some shimmering. I think my settings uh, that I've got right now is perfect for this and I'm going to be flying all day today so thank you so much for watching that's basically a quick look at the open XR toolkit um, it's pretty self-explanatory you just um, install it uh, make sure that once you know you're in VR in Microsoft Flight Simulator then you can use the menu system here which is control and F2 by default 
they are my settings, give them a try, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.